Uh, hi, I'm Mike from Hackaday, and we're here with Miranda from Washington State. What are you showing off at Maker Fair? Hi, um, we're showing off our 475 kits, and basically what they are is they are project kits for kids and based around engineering and teaching electronics. Um, but the idea is each kit has three individual projects in it, um, because what we really want to do is capitalize on that moment when you complete a project and are feeling the most inspired. Um, and instead of being like, well, what now? We are going to ask, we're going to answer that question for you and give you all these opportunities to explore and grow. One of the theories that this is built on is um, we're able to do that at, at a reasonable price um, because we use a lot of materials we find around the house. Um, and that kind of comes from our mentality that like making tends to go forward a lot, which is awesome. Um, and we use a lot of really advanced materials like 3D printing the fretboards. We also kind of want to take a step backwards and think about like that junkyard nostalgia, like making out of like a steel rod and a pipe and things that you found in like your house um, and kind of put those two together. And we found that when we do that, we take the modern technology and the cheap things you can get now and some like uh, that's, you know, good old fashioned grassroots maker mentality. You can do some cool stuff for reasonable prices. Um, so we basically just are doing cool ideas, trying to make stuff and basically get kids not just interested in engineering, but not afraid of engineering. Because engineering can be very intimidating, especially if it's a bunch of things you've never seen before. All this stuff, these are uh, CDs on bottle caps. Um, that entire tentacle is made out of popsicle sticks and hot glue. And um, yeah, so we're basically trying to just make it so that it's accessible and make it so that it's not as terrifying. Um, all while kind of getting people through, like moving them through a curriculum with a heavy focus on becoming aware of the resources that you'd have to make your dreams kind of a reality. Sure, the uh, um, banjo seems to be really popular, so what goes yeah. into making one of these? So for the banjo, um, basically all you need is what will be provided in the kit would be these guys, uh, the strings, the piezoelectric speaker, and the nuts, and optionally you can uh, opt for the board or not, the wood, and then we would provide the fretboard. But basically all they are is uh, cigar box guitars that don't have any boxes and instead use a piezoelectric pickup. Um, and I originally did that because I wanted to have a way to fold mine in half. So I wanted to cut it in half and fold it so I can make it more portable, which is also an option. You know, you can customize yours any way you please. What we kind of also want to focus on is keeping engineering social again, because we really want people to not feel like necessarily just a sense of competition with other people who are doing what they're doing, but a sense of like community. Um, and in that way, like we build things that are encouraging participation with other people. Um, and so you can basically create like this sense of everybody's kind of doing this together and you get like this excitement because well I can show my friend this now because they're going to understand and I'm excited to show my friend what I've been working on. I really like that. If people want to learn more about this, where can they go? So if you're interested in learning more, the best place to go would be our website, um, 475 Kits. But all of the ideas we put up um, for free online and that's where you can find those and learn how to build just about anything you see here. Great. Well, thank you so much for showing this to yeah, us Yeah, thank you for uh, checking us out.